Welcome back. You know, getting custom art for your home doesn't always have to cost a pretty penny. That's right. Recently, I had the chance to catch up with Carl Johnson of Cut Art Studios based in California. He makes a special trip here to the Baltimore area each year around this time to catch up with customers who travel far and wide to get their hands on his unique works of art. What are they, do you ask? Well, take a look. I live in L.A., uh, so I do a lot of celebrity parties as well. I do a lot of uh, their weddings and uh, uh, birthdays and that sort of thing. So, Carl Johnson is a modern-day artist who specializes in a medium of yesteryear. I am a silhouette portrait artist, and I tour all over, predominantly uh, children's boutiques, um, you know, much like We Chic, where I'm at today. Prior to the invention of the camera, if you were living in 18th century Europe or colonial America and you wanted a portrait of your child or yourself um, and you couldn't afford a painting, you really had no recourse. So you would have gone to a silhouette artist and he would have very much like I do still today, uh, he would have cut out your portrait uh, freehand. The old time art form is anything but slow though. A series of quick cuts and you my friends have got something frame worthy. Generally 90 seconds. I mean I can cut them faster but I try to take my time so that I get it as accurately as I can. Uh, but yeah, just a couple minutes usually uh, depends on the hairstyle. If I slow down I'll mess up because um, if, um, if you think about it too much, it's a, little, a bit like music I would think. So um, if you, you have to keep a certain tempo to to play well or to cut well, you know. Uh, and if you slow down, um, you'll overthink it, you know, I think. Uh, that's my experience anyway, so. But Johnson's work isn't just about a nod to a long ago time, but a personal past as well. Started as a kid when I was about 12. Uh, I didn't go up with my dad, but I went to visit him. And he was doing this at the time in, in an attempt to make a connection with him. I started cutting too. And so I had this idiosyncratic talent, and when I was a starving art student um, in the uh, 80s, I got a summer job working for Dolly Parton at a place called Dollywood, so amusement park in the Smoky Mountains. What started out being just a little side gig turned into an unlikely career for Johnson for yet another reason. But I took to it like a fish to water because I was born uh, blind in one eye. I sort of see the world two-dimensionally in a way. I don't have binocular vision like most people, so... Um, so uh, it was really, it suited me really well. Um, I was actually cutting a portrait of um, Matthew McConaughey at Reese Witherspoon's uh, wedding. And uh, he was fascinated by that. And he has a good friend, uh, um, Steve Wynn, who owns all the hotels in Las Vegas. And he has um, a vision issue. So he, he, has, he sees tunnel vision, apparently. And I, we were kind of commenting about the fact that you sort of you know, because he has tunnel vision, what he does, and he became very successful because he was so laser focused on, on making that work. You know, and I think in, in the same sense, you know, having binocular, or not having binocular vision, having sort of two dimensional vision, um, it just works for me. You know. And when something works, Johnson doesn't change it. Not even when it comes to his trusty pair of scissors that have admittedly seen better days. I got these from my dad, actually, when I started as a kid. And they're old uh, German surgical scissors. And they're really tattered and worn and kind of loose and wobbly. But I have to kink my hand a certain way to make them work. Nobody else can actually cut with these but me. And they broke, in fact, and I had to fix them with a little piece of pipe and some leather. But um, as, as, uh, as, as uh, brutalized as they are, uh, they're the only thing I've ever used to cut with. And um, they've never been sharpened. I keep them close to me so the little kitty fingers can't grab them, you know, and they're always with me. If I lose my scissors, I'm in big trouble because I'll be uh, living in a cardboard box under a bridge someday. So. Such a, a, a master with those scissors and, and his yes. tools. Incredible. <laughs> and you know, we want to check out the finished product, too. Yes, he did such a good job. In my humble, humble opinion. I mean, check that out. That looks like me, right? Wow. Yeah. Look I at mean, the, the hair I detail. Yes, I didn't have the hair poof that day. But He's yeah, got he some did. some <laughs> poof there, okay? Yes, like but it bangs. was down. Yeah. Yes, he did a very, very good job. So I can't wait until he will be back. It's like an Elsa mural. A mural. I like that. I like that. Well, Carl's work could be found at retailers like Restoration Hardware if you want to check that out. Also, go online at cutarts.com. That's arts with an S, not a Z like you typically see. There you can commission custom works, check out his video there, and even catch up with him and his ongoing events all over the nation. Stay tuned. We will be right back with more Midday Maryland.